Hello and welcome to the next video in my LCS 2024 preview series. We're going to cover Dignitas. This is going to be one of the shorter videos of my preview series because as you can see, there's not a lot on this board. It's very reminiscent of how I felt about Ultra Prime. Um, this roster is, is, it's a roster. It's a roster. So the last three years, Dig won 34 and 29 in 2021. But the next two years, 11 and 25 and 10 and 26. Last year, you know, they had put a little money into it. Um, and this year, clearly, uh, they had no money left. So, Santorin retires. Jensen goes to FlyQuest. Spawn is gone, as well as Poom and Diamond. They bring in Dove from IG, I guess. Technically, he didn't play in summer. As well as Isles, who was not on a team last year at support. Um, looking at this roster, you're going to notice that all five players here did not play the entire year last year in any capacity. As if to say, at some point, no team wanted to play them on the rip. Now, XU, I think, was technically... No, that's a lie. That's a lie. At the Tier 1 level, let's clarify. At the Tier 1 level... None of these players played from spring through summer. So, Rich, 25 years old. Played with Nip for one game in spring, then played with Dignitas in summer. 28 games, 2-1 KDA. He's 25 years old. Average age of this roster, 23.6. 2-1 KDA, 7-5 CS per minute, 58-5 KP. That's pretty concerning at the LCS level out of a Korean import. 20.8 gold share, but 555 damage per minute, which is 24.5% of damage. So he is feisty up there. On average, behind LCS tops, 40 gold, 230 XP. Had 10 solo kills, 14 champions played. Quesante was the only champion he played more than twice. So Quesante, Orn, and Quinn were his three most played, 46% of his games. Like I said, Nip played him once last in, in spring xu 22 years old played in spring for dignitas in academy in summer he did not play anywhere 45 games 22 years old youngest player well, might be the youngest player in the roster 39 kda 49 cs per minute 70 kp i would say he's a facilitator based on the farm but the kp doesn't match that 17.8 gold chair, 352 damage per minute, which is 13.8% of damage. Against Academy Junglers, on average, up 10 gold, but down 2 CS and 80 XP. 11 solo kills, 9 champions played. Sejuani Elise Wukong, 58% of those 45 games. Keep in mind, it is only a spring set, so meta was very different than what we saw in the latter stages of last year. Dove, mid lane, 25 years old, made his return to mid after playing top lane with Live Sandbox in 2022, went to IG, played in spring, and then no more. So 34 games, 2-6 KDA, 7-8 CS per minute, and a 56 KP. IG fighting all around the rift except in mid lane with Dove. 20.6 gold chair, 459 damage per minute, 21.9% of IG's damage. Hmm. That's like a glorified support type of mid. Uh, 13 champions played. Silas, Azir, and Galiel, 44% of his games. Tomo, 23 years old, the only player that I actually think is based on these stats and actually just watching Tomo over the years, it's decent. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if he ever gets a job again after this. We'll see. 27 games played, 3 KDA, 9 6 CS per minute, 71 KP, 24.7 gold share. Keep in mind, this was with two different supports last year. Not getting solid scrim time because he was sharing with Spawn. 622 damage per minute, which was 27.6% of that team's damage. But on average, behind at 15 minutes, 405 gold, 6 CS, 285 XP, 4 solo kills, 8 champions played. Kesa, Zaya, Aphelios, 56% of those games. And then lastly, we have Isles at 22 years old. Nothing to go off of. He didn't play last year um, in an organized, uh, you know, world's qualifying region, you know, tournament or tier two or whatever. I think he did play for... 
some team, probably an amateur team, one of those show match teams, but um, did not play in organ, you know, really organized, recognized on Game of Legend um, league. So, in Enetron's coach, 29 and 61 in his career at the tier one level, longtime uh, Turkish coach and uh, ERL coach, three and five uh, in the playoffs, which was in 2023 summer. Um, so, like I said about Tomo, I don't know if he gets a job after this. Frankly, I think all five of these players, this may be it. And I'm sorry for XU, he's 22 years old. Those numbers from spring don't necessarily scream, hey, you're LCS ready. I know he got a look a couple of years ago um, with Golden Guardians, maybe even in 2022. But this roster, st it's bad. It's very bad. It's very bad. Um, Ultra Prime um, has a better roster um, relative to the region. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Mad Lions has a more inspiring roster. And actually, ironically enough, I was going to say this in the beginning of one of my videos. You know, I have people that think I'm now like xenophobic or something because I I didn't like love on the Mad Lions roster. I thought that was really cute by that person. Um, if that's what you're going to jump to as your response, just get the fuck out of here. That's some of the most stupid, embarrassing sort of lengths to go to try and be like, hey, you didn't support the... All these, you must, you, you, uh, criticize Supa, so you must not like Spanish players. You criticized Flackett a couple years ago. You must not like Spanish players. Talk glowingly about El Yoya. Uh, Myron, or Myron, or whatever, the new top for Mad. I made a video with Prospects. I believe he's on it. Alvaro, I think he's in that video, uh, video for supports. Um, Razork, I said, was one of the best junglers at Worlds. Um, I've said nice things about Razork. Um, I think I could keep going down a list of Spanish players if I really wanted to, where I'd say, oh, well, I, I actually talk positively about those players. So I just think it's absolutely um, embarrassing that somebody did that. And I'm just, you know, rambling on to try and make this video a bit longer because there's not really much to talk about. So this video is more about... Um, that person than it is about Dignitas, I guess. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, become a YouTube supporter, and hope to see you again tomorrow.